Hi, my name is Joshua Moll, and I'd like to talk to you about my new book project 6011.7. I'm fascinated by the elusive nature of Dada, the art movement founded in about 1916 in Switzerland. If you look at any dictionary description of Dada, you can change the word to love and the description will often hold. Both are often irrational, illogical, nonsensical, monstrous, absurd even. But it's hot. Dada was always funny and mischievous and often quite rude. This was the starting point of the book, the irrational nature of love, the ways people behave in relationships, their motivations, their fears, their monsters, their luggage, for want of a better term. It's an epistolary novel, a graphic novel, it's a collection of letters, photographs, emails, Donorist artwork, and a partially destroyed manuscript. Very exciting that Unbound wants to produce the book Unbound, that is to say, loose leafed and put into a very beautiful box. Um, so, this is going to be a book unlike any book I've produced. And, uh, I think it will become a very beautiful object in itself. Imagine your life is a chart or a map. And in childhood you experience some very bad things uh, in your formative years. And you draw those monsters on the map in indelible ink. And they will forever affect the course of your life, your adult life. How you love, who you love, how you are in relationships what you do in life and, and all of your decisions, they all sort of flow back to that point. That's what this book is mainly about. 6011.7 is the story of a forgotten expedition to the North Atlantic just after the First World War. It's a government-backed hunt for mythical sea creatures that may or may not be uh, a danger to navigation, particularly with the growing submarine services. It's seen through the lens of Dardarist artist Fabienne Simonson and her lover John Sylvester. Their collection of photographs, letters, and artwork are found aboard an abandoned lifeboat off the Cape Verde Islands in 1921. The pair are presumed lost and drowned at sea, as there's no evidence they survive or anybody from the ship they are on survived. Um, but the work they leave behind is inconsistent, contrary, um, but quite seductive. Two present day characters, journalist Sarah Murphy and cameraman James West, attempt to establish the provenance of the box and whether the expedition was real or whether the whole thing is an elaborate dollarist joke. Sarah and James at the end of an intense love affair, but it's disintegrating. Um, the material that they're working on from 6011.7 uh, begins to reflect the nature of their own relationship, their own monsters, their own fears, um, and it, it, it draws great parallels between them. Can you trust the work of those mischievous and vulgar Dardarists? Is 6011.7 a Dardarist artwork or a murder plot in a grand tradition? You must decide. I really hope this has uh, inspired you to get involved uh, and support 6011.7. Uh, you can find out more at the Unbound website. Uh, I've also included some suitably dollarist pledges in there, which uh, I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching.